Now, in Kenya's Rift Valley, a local startup is making waves in a global fight against climate change by capturing carbon dioxide directly from the air. Powered by Geothermal's team, Octavia Carbon's machines are offering a scalable, land-efficient solution that could make Kenya only the second country in the world to inject air-captured carbon dioxide underground. Ashley Otieno has the story. In the dusty scrubs of Kikopei, Nakuru County, a futuristic solution to climate change is taking root. These tall cylindrical machines are part of a prototype facility built by Kenyan startup Octavia Carbon, Africa's first company using direct air capture technology to trap carbon dioxide straight from the atmosphere. And unlike trees, these machines require only a silver of land, which is a big plus in a world running out of space for reforestation. This machine that you see behind me here um, removes as much, as much CO2 from the atmosphere as about 100 trees. Um, our more scaled up versions uh, remove as much as 1,000 trees uh, per year from the atmosphere. Um, and you can already see that like, to plant, well, plant 1,000 trees, you would need about 10 hectares of land. The captured carbon is filtered, compressed, and stored ready for future underground injection. The process involves two key stages, capturing and releasing. In the capture phase, we pass a volume of air through the machine, facilitated by a blower and a fan uh, at the top. And as air passes through the machine, there is a filter inside that selectively captures uh, the CO2. Uh, we monitor the uh, concentrations, and once the filter is saturated, we seal off the machine, um, create a, a vacuum, and then uh, heat up the filter to facilitate the release phase. Uh, once all the CO2 has been released from the filter, we move it into a buffer tank before compressing it into cylinders. Yet, challenges remain. The process is energy intensive, but Octavia is turning that into an opportunity. We need a lot of energy um, for the process. Uh, uh, for example, 85% of our needs in the machine are thermal energy. Um, and in this case, the way we are trying to solve for that, for that uh, in Octavia Carbon is that we are trying to tap into using geothermal um, steam or geothermal waste heat, which comes at a very low cost. In fact, Octavia is preparing to begin underground carbon dioxide injection next year in collaboration with U.S. partner Sella Mineral Storage, a move that will make Kenya the second country after Iceland to do so using this method. Our hope is to demonstrate that this cost, like that, that this technology can actually come down the cost curve and that it can be a lot more feasible as we build and deploy it, basically. And as we do that, I think we really hope that it will sort of create a real hope in the fight against climate change. From Kenyan-made machines to climate hope built on steam and science, Octavia Carbon is proving that high-tech carbon removal is not a distant dream. It's happening now, powered by local innovation and the belief that the Rift Valley can lead the world toward a cleaner, greener future. Ashley Atieno, NTV.